So today I took Rosie out to Cane Creek again. We've been taking her pretty often. So I did that. Um, actually went with my grandmother too. She she had been wanting to go. And uh, so cared her. And then my sister went. And uh, then I had to feed the horses again after that at my uncle's. Um, my uncle's horses. So did that too. Um, and then tonight we ended up coming to... Uh, or going with my parents, we met them, me and my sister met them for supper, so we did that. We were just getting back, we was going to um, make a fire. I've got some of these uh, little things. I don't know how good the wood is that we got at the house, so I was going to probably use those old logs. Um, and uh, we were going to try to burn a, what is it, um, a frying pan, uh, iron skillet. We had a little small one. Uh, it was under a bunch of our other pans, and it had got rusted somehow. I don't even know how any water got under there. But anyway, so the bottom was rusted and, like, the inside of the actual pan. So I took some steel wool, and I got all that off, and then washed it up and put a little bit of oil on it, just canola oil and uh, or vegetable oil, and put it over the just the eye at the, on the... We got uh, gas uh, ranges, so we uh, I heated it up and let it do its thing until it got really hot and started burning, and then decided to take it off. But um, what we're going to do tonight, probably with the fire, is take some Crisco uh, vegetable oil and just coat the entire pan, and then uh, put it in that fire and let it burn. Because uh, what happens when they rust and everything, that seasoning comes off the black. That's why iron skillets are always black. Because uh, it's just basically cooked on oil and grease and all kinds of stuff. So food, whatever. So we're going to re-season it since it's down to the bare metal. And uh, that way it'll be non-stick again and we can actually use it. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do tonight. That's why I was out here getting the fire stuff ready. And I'm going to try to get it hot enough where we can actually use it. So anyway, I'm going to try that tonight. And uh, we got Rosie here. She's still sitting in her crate. Every night she's pretty content in there. She wants to play now, but she likes it in there. She always jumps in it right when we open the door, and she'll lay down there. She likes it inside better than being outside in the cold. So anyway, but I'll let you go, and I'm going to try this out, and I'll see you tomorrow.